Oh yeah. Do it, do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I know how to cope with the people behind Prop 23 are playing politics with our lives. I could die if Prop 23 passes. Please vote his name. And taxes are his game. Ruta came the system and dies hundreds of thousands in taxes. But now, Ruta wants to raise your taxes. Laban ng TV nga, puro political ads. Higher taxes on business. Higher taxes on... Probably about three minutes long. Oh, yeah. I am Michelle Steele. I really? this message. ABC 7 Salutes is sponsored by your Southern California Chevy dealers. Whatever you're looking for in an SUV, Chevy's got you covered. Learn more at SoCalChevy.com. Look at those scores. It's going to be a jerk. <laughs> they ended up getting a 1939 Wotan Rothschild $2,000. The cheap stuff, meanwhile, went to a table of Wall Street hotshots who ordered the Wotan, and they said it actually was not that. See, I love that because it just shows you a lot of the wine stuff is just smoke and mirrors, you know, because can you really tell the difference between a $1,000 bottle or a $2,000 <clears> bottle or even a $100 bottle? I nice like restaurant. Test. Or a $15 bottle. Oh, I look at that. Check and oh, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I, would. I mean, who in the right mind would order a $2,000 bottle of wine? Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And tune in for Robert as soon as at 11 o'clock tonight here on ABC 7 and at 7 p.m. on KDOC TV. Now let's get to David Muir with World News Tonight. Enjoy your wine tonight. <laughs> <laughs> leaders steals business partner and husband made it happen helping funnel hundreds of thousands in campaign cash orange county's most corrupt politician michelle Steele. house majority pack is responsible for the content of this advertising i didn't choose this job because it was easy but i can't say i expected this to fight these fires we need funding plain and simple for this crisis and for the next Prop 15 closes tax loopholes, so rich corporations pay their fair share of taxes. So firefighters like me have what we need to do the job and to do it right. The big corporations want to keep their tax loophole and vote yes on Prop 15. Tonight, the sprint to the finish. After their final debate, President Trump and Joe Biden both campaigning. The president in Florida tonight declaring in the debate, we are turning the corner on the virus. The former vice president saying the reality is different, that we face a dark winter ahead. As we learned tonight, more than 82,000 new cases of the virus in this country in just the last 24 hours. The highest number in months. Doctors have warned we needed to be at 10,000 a day as we head into fall. Tonight, President Trump seizing on Joe Biden's comments in the debate on the oil industry. Biden telling reporters right after the debate what he meant. As the virus here in the U.S. continues to spike across several states, the Midwest, the South, the middle of this country, deaths now topping 1,000 two days in a row. A public health official breaking down in front of the cameras today because of the staggering toll. Coronavirus really exists, guys. Full of guns. Yeah, uh, it's tonight it was a plot to assassinate Joe oh, Biden. Wow. Pierre Thomas is standing by. The massive wildfires burning across Colorado at this hour, the two largest fires in state history, now just 10 miles apart. So many difficult stories emerging. Tonight, the elderly couple married 68 years, missing in the flames. 
Here in New York City, the subway attack, a 28-year-old woman shoved out of the tracks at the Times Square station. Police searching for the suspect tonight. The terrifying accident, a Jeep tumbling down mm. the side of a mountain. The driver had stepped out of the vehicle, one person in the passenger seat, and her dog. And scientists and the first murder hornet's nest ever discovered in the U.S. How they plan to get rid of it and the bigger concern tonight. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with David York. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here as we near the end of another week together, just 11 days now to Election Day, the final debate, and today, of course, the fallout, the reaction, and now the all-out sprint to the finish. More than 52 million Americans have already voted. In the debate, coronavirus in this country, the economy, how will we pull out of this? It was the first question, and it is now the backdrop of these final 11 days. Stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly oh my god but that's a big statement. are you joking well, if me? You let me finish the statement because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time because he is going to destroy the oil industry and will you remember that texas will you okay. remember that pennsylvania oklahoma and a sign that biden campaign was concerned about that Biden talked to reporters late he last the night oil. after the debate. Really? We're not getting rid of fossil fuels. We're getting rid of the subsidies for fossil fuels, but we're not getting rid of fossil fuels for a long time. It will not be gone for probably 2050. With the debates behind him, the president is hoping his rallies, tonight he is in Florida, will be enough to turn his campaign around. 11 days from now, we're going to win the state of Florida. We're going to win four more years in the West. All right, so let's get right to John Carl.